So I will show you how you pretty easily can go and optimize these 3D AI generated models. So I do believe that there is two kinds of optimization on these because you can either go and create a lot of more details on it, but then it will also get a lot more vertices and faces, which could be pretty good for something like 3D printing. But in this video, we will look at how we actually go and optimize it the way so that it don't have so many faces and vertices. So you could say that we would go and make it more game ready to actually put as an asset inside your game. Do also remember to go and hit the like and subscribe. It will help the channel and also to keep these videos coming. So first, First of all, let's go and open Blender. And you shouldn't worry, you don't have to be an expert in Blender at any cost. You can just go and delete all the default stuff we have here. So go and mark it all and hit delete. We will then go and import the 3D model that we generated. And if you want to see how you generate it, I have another video that I'll just post up here at the top so that you can see how you just generate an AI image and make an AI 3D model out of it. But for now, let's go to file and let's say import. And it's a GLB in this case. I have it in my downloads here and it is this file and I'll say import. So now you can see I have this fox. I'll just make it a little bit bigger and let's pull it up. So first of all, I just want to go and duplicate this. So shift D and then I can go and drag it to the side here. And the reason I duplicate it is so that we can go and compare the two models. So the absolutely first thing we want to do here is go to the this arrow because we want to see the statistics. And when you click that, you get these statistics over here with the vertices, faces and edges and so on. And right now these numbers is for the whole scene. So when you go and click on the one model here, you can see this number is just this model and this will be the whole scene. So the first thing we can do with this model is actually just by click on it, hit tab and then hit M on your keyboard because we do want to merge some of the vertices here and we want to do it by distance. So click on this one and I can see down here, we actually removed almost 2000 vertices from the model already. And as you can see, it looks pretty much the same. Actually, if you click the button up here, you will also get the texture. So we can really go and see the difference here. So if we click the model again, you can see we are now at six and a half thousand vertices and the other one we have here, we started with 8,400 almost. But the next thing we want to use, so we can actually get it down to like three or 400 vertices and still look pretty much the same. We can go to the modifiers here and say modify. And then you want to search for this decimate. And when you use decimate modifier on these AI 3D models, you do want to go and use the collapse here. So it is just this ratio that we want to go and drag down. And you can actually see down here, we also have the faces count, but you can also just go and look at it over here. We are at 4,200 now, but if I move it even further down, you can see there's really no difference yet. And we are already down at 2,600. So let's try to put it way down. And now you can see we actually begin to see some changes. And if we if we do it very much, you can see we can really go and say how roughly we want to go and impact the model. And it's actually without even ruining the texture because it still looks pretty good. This could look like a PS1 game or something, but you might want to go and put it a bit more up. And when you think you hit a good spot, so for example, this one, I do think it looks pretty good. I know there is some hair on the neck hair that is missing, but if it's some detail you don't have to use, then it might be okay because the fox looks pretty good. And even though he's only 300 vertices and he is 8,300, you can see it, it, it's not that big of a difference. And if we just hold the scroll button down here, we can just turn it around and you can see it actually looks pretty good overall. So I do believe if you need your model to be in a game like Roblox or you need it inside a Unity game, then this would be a very good way to do it. If you have some other tips, please go and put them as a comment to this video and else just go and have a nice day. Bye.